psalm dedicated to Karl Kraus. It is a light which the wind has blown out. It is a tavern which a drunk leaves in the afternoon. It is a vineyard charred and black with holes full of spiders. It is a space which they have washed with milk. The madman is dead. It is an island in the South Seas to receive the sun god. They beat the drums. The men perform war dances. The women sway their hips in tendrils and corn poppies when the ocean sings. Oh, our lost paradise. The nymphs have left the golden forests. They bury the stranger. Then a tinsel rain begins. The son of Pan appears in the guise of an earth worker who sleeps through noon on the glowing asphalt. It is small girls in a yard in dresses full of heart-rending poverty. It is chambers filled with chords and sonatas. It is shadows which embrace before a blinded mirror. Convalescents warm themselves at the hospital windows. A white steamer freights bloody plagues up the canal. The unknown sister appears again in someone's evil dreams. Resting in a hazel bush, she plays with his stars. The student, perhaps his own double, watches her a long time from the window. Behind him stands his dead brother as he passes down the ancient winding staircase. In the darkness of brown chestnut trees, the figure of the young novitiate turns pale. The garden lies in evening. Bats flutter about in the cloister. The children of the caretaker have ceased their play and seek the gold of heaven. The last chords of a quartet. A small blind girl runs trembling through the alley. And later her shadow gropes along the icy wall, surrounded by fairy tales and holy legends. It is an empty boat, which drifts at evening down the black canal. In the gloom of the old asylum, human ruins waste away. The dead orphans lie along the garden wall. Angels with filth besplattered wings step from grey chambers. Worms drop from their yellowed eyelids. The square before the church is dark and still, as in the days of childhood. Early lives drift by on silver souls. And the shadows of the damned descend to sighing waters. In his grave, the white magician plays with his serpents. Silently, God's eyes are opening above the place of skulls.